five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good morning. First rocket of the day. In fact, you've not seen this one on my pad before. This is a brand new Max Q Rockets Blue Origin New Glenn rocket. And uh, if you saw my earlier video this morning, a couple of them actually, one was the unboxing and one was the build of this rocket. That all occurred in the last 20, uh, actually less than 12 hours now. And here it is sitting on the pad, ready to go. Um, I've got a whole slew of rockets to fly today, so we're going to get going through this pretty quickly. It's it's early morning. It's cold. It's still in the 30s, and for us Arizonans, that's cold. Um, but maiden flight on the New Glenn, running on a D12-3, running a 36-inch chute, and running the flight. I'm sorry, the uh, Jolly Logic 2 altimeter up in the nose cone. That being said, skies are clear, winds are completely calm. This is the time to do it. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Open. Oh no, oh no, open, open, open. Whoo! Okay, I might have packed that chute a little tight, <laughs> but it opened beautifully. Coming down nicely. Nice soft touchdown, beautiful maiden flight on the New Glen. Let's go get it. Sorry, I missed the ejection. I it arced over away from me, and then I kind of lost it in its own smoke, and uh, so I wasn't able to get the ejection those as clearly as I would have liked to. But uh, the results are the same. Beautiful maiden flight. Came down nice and soft. Anxious to see what our altitude was. It went straight up. Couldn't have asked for a better ascent or descent. So we're starting off on a great note. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next up is the Max-Q Rockets Vulcan Centaur. Very similar setup. I'm running a D12-3 motor, 36-inch chute, the same chute actually from the last flight, and the same flight altimeter, the Jolly Logic 2 up in the nose cone. All right, that being said, winds are still dead calm. Skies are clear. Cameras are rolling. We're, we're armed. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Hard to beat that. And touchdown. Let's go get it. Okay, that was another textbook flight. 
very reminiscent of the uh, the first flight earlier today with the new Glen. Um, I will tell you the new Glen. Um, I I found out why the chute didn't open as quickly as it should have. Um, I wrapped it the same. Everything was done the same. However, somehow when I hooked the chute up to the shock cord, instead of looping it the cl the clip through the loop on the nose cone. Somehow I missed the loop and I just wrapped it around the cord. Um, so as it was falling, this, this clip was f sliding down the, the shock cord, if that makes any sense. It wasn't engaged to the nose cone as well. Anyway, so that's been fixed. All right. Boy, this is looking just like the last flight. Rocket looks perfect. Nose cone's intact. The chute did its job beautifully. Two for two. Way to go, Max Q. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next on the pad is my all-new Max-Q Rocket Starship. Uh, if you remember, on New Year's Eve last year, uh, my Starship suffered a, uh, well, a, a fatal Kato. And um, so after I finished my new Glenn just last evening, I decided, you know what, I'm going to break out another kit of the Starship and get it built and flying. So uh, there's no paint on this one, it's just the standard gray. But what makes this interesting is this is the V2 model. This is the newer... Starship design. It's got the more tapered fin design on it. Uh, but other than that, the rocket itself is the same. Uh, running it on an E12-4, 48-inch chute, and the Jolly Logic 2 up in the nose. Uh, the only concern I have is that this motor, it's, and these are the last E12s that I've got, it comes from the same batch that that Kato happened on, so I'm just praying that uh, it holds together and gets the rocket airborne. But uh, not much I can do about it. It's out of my hands. Okay, so scanning the skies. The skies are clear. Winds are dead calm. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. A little long on the delay, but it worked. It worked really good. And touchdown. Beautiful flight. All right. Let's go get it. Okay, I'm kind of surprised that I was able to keep that in frame. The rocket arced back behind me. Uh, that indicates there might be a little bit of wind coming up from behind. Um, so I had to twist around, and in the process of twisting, I somehow kept the, the rocket in frame. So, plus, going toward the sun, that makes it doubly difficult. But it worked out. Rocket flew great. Engine worked great. That's That was my only concern, really. But, uh, oh, it's still smoking coming out the nose. That's pretty cool, look. Just sitting there simmering. But, uh, yeah, fins held up. New Starship V2 flew good. 48 didn't shoot. My heart skipped a beat there maybe for a second but it came out and uh, and caught it just in time so great flight three for three five four three two one
Okay guys, last flight of the day. Uh, this marks the fourth, if you want to call it company, or entity that la launches uh, real rockets. This is the NASA SLS. We've done Blue Origin, we've done SpaceX, we've done ULA. Now we've got NASA, the originator of spaceflight in the US. Uh, this is my tried and true uh, SLS 1200 scale. Uh, perfect little rocket, flying it on an E-12-4. Again, same rocket motor from the last batch. Uh, the last flight went great, so I hope and pray that we get the same results. Uh, fly it on a 36 inch chute and the Jolly Logic up in the nose. Arming the igniter, we're armed. Scanning the sky, skies are clear. Winds are calm. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. A bit of an arc there up to the uh, to the south, but all in all, a good flight. Everything did its job. Coming down nice and slow. Getting close and touchdown. Beautiful. Okay, let's go get it. Well, if you want to make comparisons between public companies and private companies, or entities, I should say, um, <laughs> I would say the other three, the private industries, uh, won out. They had the best flights. Uh, again, this was a good flight, but not a great flight. Not quite sure why, why it arced over the way it did. But uh, all's well that ends well. Let me venture in there and see what we got I don't hope I don't step on it oh there it is okay okay, okay looks good fins all look good rockets good nose cone looking good shoots looking good guys that was a four for four flight day first uh, launch day of the year so what a way to start 2025 so thank you once again to max Q rockets for um, providing these wonderful wonderful flying rockets can't beat them lots of fun so that'll wrap up today's video everybody thanks for watching god bless and we'll see you in the next video